If you'd like to learn how to use Moon Animator 2 to make an animation where the player is using a tool or a weapon, keep watching and I'll show you exactly how to do it. Welcome to Roblox Snippets. Today we'll be working with the plugin Moon Animator 2. If you don't have it yet, you can come up uh, in a blank project, click on plugins, I already have it here. However, if you do not have it, come over to manage plugins on the left, click on the plus button under manage plugins, and then in the marketplace, in the drop down, choose plugins and search for uh, Moon will bring it up for you and you should find Moon Animator plugin. Now when you uh, click on this to buy it, uh, it's uh, at the time of this video about 1700 Robux which is on the expensive end, however uh, the price has continued to go up, I, I didn't pay quite that much for it, however it's a worthy plugin and um, if you decide to take the plunge and click on it then that's great so once you do that you can close these windows and you should end up with these three tools up the top here ready to go moon animator is where we actually do our work for animating our character character inserter will put your avatar into the workspace and easy weld which we will use today in this video is to connect tools or weapons to your character um, before you, while you're setting them up, are uh, ready to be animated. So if you've got this ready to go, let's get started. Step one uh, to get started is we can close a couple of these windows. So you can close your output window, uh, explorer, and properties window just for now to give us a little bit more space. Now you can insert into the workspace if you wish uh, your own character. However, I'm going to come up to the avatar tab and then over to the rig builder, which will bring up this screen here. And I'm going to choose a R15 rig and I'm going to use the mesh avatar. And when I click on it, it should put it into the workspace. Now, if you didn't catch my first video, this is the second video of four I'm making about uh, Moon Animator 2. The first one just um, does a simple animation, a waving animation, and this one is using a tool. So we've got our rig, and if I hit F on my keyboard, it will focus in on our rig and command or control R to spin our rig around so he's looking at us. All right, so we have our avatar. Now we need um, a tool or a weapon and we're going to use a pistol in this uh, particular video. So to get that, we'll come up to the home tab and then click on toolbox and under marketplace uh, on the drop downs, go to models and we will search for uh, pistol. Whoops, pistol. So you can choose any pistol you like. Now, normally I would say don't get anything with a script in it. However, um, for this particular video, I'll show you how we clean those scripts out. So when you choose to um, the pistol that you want, if we come up to view and I'll open up the Explorer window, we just want it to go into the workspace for now. So click on workspace and then click the pistol that you would like. If you have this come up, um, don't worry about it just click on ok it's just warning you there are some scripts inside of this particular tool and this is put the tool into the and it's referring to the starter pack down here or your backpack and we're going to say no and it, it should just end up with one copy inside of the workspace we can then close the marketplace window and mine has appeared just above my rig's head there okay so what we'll do now is come up to plugins and we're going to click on the easy weld tool and it will bring up this uh, particular window here mine's come straight up on cleaner and that's what we want so if yours isn't on cleaner click on it and if this is selected you should be able to clean this uh, particular tool so let's go ahead and click on that and you'll notice that it changes from a tool into a model now and if we open that up or expand everything inside you should see that nothing it has no it has some other things in here but no scripts or anything that can do any damage to your computer and that is all we need okay so once you're happy with uh, that we can close this just for now and we'll position our handgun or we'll connect our handgun to our rig so to do that, we'll use the easy weld up here again, and if we open it up, 
uh, we'll now move over to the parts. So if you click on parts, we need to add two parts and we're going to join them together uh, to make them anim animated. So in your rig, click on the rig and then we'll expand that. And I'd like you to find the right hand down here. And if we open up the handgun as well, we need to see the handle. So once you see those two parts, click on the right hand first. So it is important that you select this one first. And then hold down Command or Control when you click on Handle. And you should have both parts highlighted in blue like this one says selected. Over here then, in Easy Weld, we want to then join those. And that should now attach the handgun to the rig. So if we have a look at our rig now, I'll just focus on him. It has moved down into his hand, however it's not orientated correctly so we need to spin it around and move it so it sits in his hand correctly so I'll zip up the rig and the handgun if you click on the handgun model now uh, we can use our rotate tools and move tool so click on rotate and under model if you click on model tab up the top and then click on uh, make sure it's 90 degrees and rotate is checked we can rotate the model so that it's straight down and then mine rotate around this way and now I'll use the move tool to just slide it down so that it uh, sits in his hand correctly like so and that looks pretty good I'll probably move it over just slightly all right so that looks pretty good so if you've got yours looking like that and everything has worked out well then we can move on and start using moon animator 2 so I'll close uh, Explorer window here and uh, we're ready to go. So come up to plugins up the top and click on Moon Animator 2 and you'll notice that this window will open up and we want to create a new Moon 2 file. So left click on that and you'll get this blank area here where we put our keyframes when we move parts but we need our rig in here. However we'll create the file first by clicking on file and then save and we'll call this one um, animate um, with gun that's what I'll call mine you can uh, come up with a better name than that I'm sure and we'll click on OK and it gets named up the top here for us to save it now to import the rig into this we click on this plus sign here just below file and if you move your mouse uh, even over the top of the screen you'll see a blue outline so when you see that blue outline left click on your rig and it should appear in here like this click on OK and now we are ready to start moving the model so we'll move this up to the top right hand corner there so we can see what we're doing now when we animate in moon animator 2 uh, there are you select a part and we're going to move his right upper arm for a start so left click on that and you'll notice that a rotate uh, tool comes up that's very similar to the one that we use in studio and you also have the move tool or position tool so if you hit R on your keyboard it will switch to this okay and if you move it away from the body like this you will see it detaches from uh, the model so if you come across a situation where you've done something you don't want to happen like this use command or control Z to undo your last action right so now we'll start animating or creating a keyframe now initially we want our character to start in this position and then we'll come into uh, the timeline here and click on 30 and this is where we'll create our first keyframe and we'll do that by clicking on his upper arm and hit R again to get rotate and we're going to move his upper arm up so that it's out in front of him using the red handle so if you left click and drag on the handles that will bring it up until it's fairly straight out in front of him like that right and if you'd like to bring it into um, in front of him more then you can bring his bring his whole arm in like this so not pointing the right direction yet but we'll come down to his right hand now left click on that and then rotate just the hand back so that it's facing straight out in front of him now if we want to get our left arm involved then we can scroll down through the list of parts find his left upper arm and I'll just move this screen over this way so we can see what we're doing 
and we'll bring up his left upper arm and bring it across so that it's holding his other one like that okay now I'll just move around this way just to see probably need to rotate it up a little bit so I'll grab the red one and just move it up and that looks pretty good uh, you could play around with this a lot and get it correct but this is just an example at the moment so if you want to see this play now we can hit the space bar and you'll see that he brings his hands up and holds the gun now if we were to loop this and you loop over here you can either hit tab on your keyboard to loop or you can see this symbol next to the plus come up and click on it so there's no line through the loop and hit loop again and you'll notice that it loops over and over again very quickly putting his hand back down now if we stop that and I'll bring it back to the beginning if you'd like to bring his hands up and hold it there for longer then what you could do is come into the timeline here left click and drag over the keyframes we have created so they're all orange color like this come up to edit and copy the selected keyframes and then come over to say 90 back to edit and paste and now we've got the same keyframe here but it will hold for a longer period of time so if we loop now and play I'll turn loop on sorry you'll see that it holds the gun longer alright so there's lots of things that you can do to make your animations better um, or last longer like this but for now we'll just concentrate on creating one and hopefully yours is working just like this one so we'll stop that there now if you want to see the settings for your animation hit 8 on your keyboard and it will bring up this window here currently our timeline is five seconds long which is much too long uh, let's change this to be uh, one second and see what it does now it's moved to the 90 here and if we play everything's still working the same and it's zoomed in a bit all right but everything is working just nicely okay so if uh, you're happy with your animation um, so don't be too particular uh, initially we will just go through the rest of the procedure now bring up your Explorer and properties windows and just expand your rig now you'll notice that it has no animations in here at the moment so to get the animation we just created into our rig what we do is come over to file and underneath file you'll see export rigs go ahead and left click on that and over here you should see animation saves appears with this animate with gun underneath it so if you see that we want to right click on this come down and save to Roblox All right, my window is a little bit out All right and you get a window like this so give it a title and put a description if you wish I'll just leave mine as it is and go ahead and click on submit and you'll get this confirmation screen and it's created an asset ID up here so we want to copy this ID by left clicking next to it on these little boxes and it'll say ID copied and then click on close now we're finished with moon animator here at the moment so you can close that screen I haven't saved mine it says so I'm going to save it first and then close it there we go and now that ID that we just copied we're going to add it into the rig so we can see it animate on the rig itself so click on the rig and click on the plus and start typing the word animate and you get this animation object all right with this little white dot left click on it and it'll be added to the rig probably down towards the bottom so scroll down to the bottom till you find it left click on it and then look in the properties for the animation ID and an empty box click in the empty box and we want to paste that new number in there that we just created and hit enter you should see it format it correctly and we are good to go now on the animation object let's change this to um, we'll call it gun anim okay so we know what this object is when we refer to it in the script so scroll back up to the rig and we'll now create a script that will run this for us when we run the game 
click on the plus and come down and add script to your rig and we'll change this to the name of this to animate uh, rig script now uh, Roblox Studio has a, a little bit of a glitch in it at the moment with um, the looping of animations and uh, I've come up with a bit of a solution to get around that so with the script uh, highlighted just in blue like this come down and look in the scripts uh, properties and find run context okay next to it it'll say legacy but click on that drop down and choose client now what that does is it actually lets this script run on the server but act like a local script and that will let our looping work okay so that's effectively what it does so if you've got that come over and we'll get rid of hello world and we'll write a little bit of code to get our animation up and running so the first thing we want to get is the animation object so we'll just say local anim equals and script dot parent dot and we called it gun anim and that has our animation number in it and then right below this we'll get the humanoid so which will be script dot parent dot humanoid and now we'll create a animation track to load the animation onto so anim track and we load the animation onto the humanoid so we say humanoid and then colon load animation and pass in the animation object then we can play our animation so animation track and a colon with play and now if you want it to loop we can say anim track dot looped equals true and that's all the code we need to uh, see our animation run so come up and click on file and save and then let's play I them all loaded in and as you can see our animation is up and running with our NPC drawing his pistol ready to fire all right so hopefully yours is working exactly the same as mine and um, I hope you enjoyed that video and I look forward to seeing you in uh, future videos uh, for part 3 and 4 of the Moon Animator 2 series. If you found this video useful, subscribe now. For more information about my online courses, go to mrbrendanross.com.